hallelujah. This is Francis. Um, I'm here with another special word. And right now, I'm um, kind of on a little bit of a search. Um, hopefully, I find what I'm looking for. And um, I'm going to use that, you know, as a nice transitional segue into the little message I have for you today, which is um, actually a parable Jesus Christ spoke of about a, a merchant who was searching for, you know, beautiful pearls. And um, it's in Matthew chapter 13. From verse 45 the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant seeking goodly pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it hallelujah now when we hear about this you know this reminds us also of the the i think it comes right after yes the parable of the hidden treasure you know where someone sold everything that he had to get this field and he could get this treasure now the key thing i want us to see here is the fact that um when the scriptures speak about pearls amen jesus christ didn't use those words casually because in revelation chapter 21 um verse 21 hmm, the 12, bible says the 12 gates of new jerusalem the city of god amen were actually 12 pearls every gate was made of a pearl and the streets of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass the bible is telling us here that what the merchant was actually looking for was access access into the city of god now someone would ask why would he have to sell everything that he had to get in and the reason why is because when he saw the value of the pearls when he saw the value of living that life again we've spoken about how access amen speaks of being able to live out a life access to the city of god means being able to live as though you're a citizen of zion there is a lifestyle there's a culture of zion and the people who have access into that city they're able to live that life well the bible explains that if you are looking for access amen you're like a merchant looking for precious pearls now the key thing is finding the pearls the bible says the labor of fools wearies them because they do not know how to enter the city and so what you discover is that there's people who are looking who are searching for how to live out the christian life and what the bible describes um the words the bible used to describe the people who aren't able to enter in is foolishness now people get offended at that or maybe upset at that but really what the bible is saying is hey you don't have the wisdom you don't have the wisdom. What wisdom does is wisdom shows you how to enter or wisdom helps you find the pearl of great price. Now, there's 12 of them. I'm going to get into that in another session, but I just want to highlight something, okay? Because we all want to live out the Christian life. We all want to live out that life that pleases God. And living out the life that pleases God is synonymous with entering, you know, through the gates into the city. So we, what we're saying, therefore, is that we actually want to find these pearls. Well, you know what's so beautiful about this? The Bible speaks, you know, tells us that God gives wisdom liberally. In other words, God helps us to find these pearls. Now, someone says, how? How does God help me? By the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals the beauty. He reveals the beauty of the life of God. I want to encourage you because as we approach Pentecost right now, many believers, hallelujah, are going to be encountering the Lord in a fresh new way and the life of God is going to be you know um it's going to be um appear, appear to blossom in ways it never has before but it's not because the life of God has changed but because they found the pearls hallelujah there's 12 of them amen they found one of these pearls and because they discovered how valuable the life of God is they sold everything I want to sell everything for Jesus I want to go all in for Jesus what I'm saying by these words is I want to partner with the Holy Spirit so he can show me, hallelujah, one of these pearls so I can have access into the incredible life of God. I hope that blesses you as you press into the Lord, as you enjoy the acts that Jesus Christ has given to us, as you enjoy the wisdom the Holy Spirit provides. The spirit of wisdom rest and be upon you in Jesus' name.